Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Just Moses, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a livestock update of my 40 gallon breeder reef tank. I know I haven't done it probably in about two or three months. Uh, I can't remember when I when I did it, but I think it was for my 100 subs. And uh, so I want to give you guys a, a fresh update. I do have some new livestock and some things that are really giving me some trouble as far as livestock. And uh, uh, so let's go ahead and dive into this. So I'm going to say the first thing is going to be this firefish. Um, this is my purple firefish. I've had him roughly about two, three weeks. He's been really awesome so far. Uh, I did get him from a local pet co. Uh, I do trust them. They've, they've had some really good fish there. And uh, he's done really well. I really thought he was going to be doing a lot of hiding when I first got him. But he is just out and about with everyone. So he gets along with the, the other fish homies. And uh, they have a good time. So he's cool. He's been good. When I first got him, he had some a little bit of torn fins, but it looks like everything's healed up on him. So he's been he's been cool. So uh, next to my clowns, I'm sure you guys have seen that if you're subscribed to the channel. And if you haven't seen it, I'll just add up the uh, the video at the top of the screen here. But they're doing really well. So I'm really happy about these guys. Best clowns I've ever had. Uh, firefish, the shrimp are doing really well. I mean, I, I said fire, I said firefish, didn't I? It's fire shrimp and the cleaner shrimp are doing really well. And then you can see all four of my green chromas together. They're pretty cool. They've they've done really well as well. So I don't have any issues with any of my fish in my tank at the moment. They all get along, even though they chase each other every now and then. But they're just having fun, I think. <laughs> but they don't do anything to, to hurt each other. So all good, all is well. Uh, so I'm going to start up here with my coral. So as you see, the anemone is up here. This old school anemone I've had for a very long time. He, he just moves around everywhere and just does his own thing on top of this rock. And then I got the favias right here. They're not really, the polyps aren't really extended at the moment. Usually they are at night. It's earlier in the day, so it's just kind of being there. So they're doing really well. I'm looking forward to them just kind of spreading on the rock. Uh, next is my mushroom back here. It was tiny. Uh, it, okay, green chromas. You've had your spotlight. All right. So, anyways, the mushroom back here, it's, it's grown. Uh, it's probably doubled in size. It was really tiny when I first got it, which I was. It really caught me off guard, and I really hate that it was so small, but it's grown a lot. So, it's going to grow into being a nice little mushroom. And then down here, I got the this leather, this long polyp leather that I have. And it looks like it's really grown well. And it almost looks like it has come off the frag plug here. I think there's just a little bit hanging on. So once it comes off that frag plug, if it comes off of it, I'm taking that plug out. So it would be really cool to have that just uh, incorporated into the, the rock structure itself instead of being on a plug. So that's cool. That's done really well. The next thing is my hammer down here. This has grown a lot Uh I do go back and watch some of my videos, and it's just wild just to see how much of this, some of the stuff has grown and, and progressed over time. So this hammer's done really well. I'm really happy with that one. Uh, I have put my recordia down here, my little small one, because my sea urchin kept grabbing it and taking it for a ride every day. So I put it down on the sand, and it hasn't touched it since. Oh, look, and you can see my mandarin goby. He's just doing great back here, the mandarin dragonette. I'm really proud of this guy. As difficult as they say it is to keep these guys online, eh, he's been super easy. I haven't had any issues with him. So, and my yellow assessor back there hanging out upside down. He's cool. One of my oldest fish I have. So, proud of that guy too. Then I got my Galaxia. Good guy. Something like that. Galaxia coral is doing pretty good. It's always out and fluffy every day. So, that's cool. And then we come up here, we got some more Recordia. I moved them from down, it used to be down over here where these, these Blastos are. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, so, but I'll put these up here. Uh, and they seem like they're, they got a little more extension going on. They're bigger than they used to be, a lot bigger actually. So that's cool. They seem very, very happy up there. And then I have my, my Grape Torch. That's doing quite well. It doesn't seem like it's grown too much, but it has done very well. It is out every day, and, and it just looks fluffy and healthy, so that's cool. And the anemone back here, the clown's anemone, they love it. Uh, that moves around a lot, but it hasn't really caused you too much trouble, so that's good. Next thing is my melted wax down here, and my chalice. One of my friends calls it melted wax, so that's what I call it now. So 
but that's done well i moved that up here because i really wanted it to grow more than just be on the sand so i'm giving it a chance to grow out so that should be cool my leather's done exceptionally well so that's cool no worries about that that's super easy and then we got the torch and the hammer uh my centerpiece of torch i love this thing and uh it's done really well as well and uh i kind of actually took the the rock and i i turned it because it, when it was turned this way the torch was actually covered up the the hammer so you couldn't see it from the front view so i just kind of turned the, the rock to the side and uh so i could see the hammer and the torch all at the same time so that's pretty cool it seemed very happy i, I do know that they are touching each other uh, it is a concern of mine, but it doesn't seem like it's making either of them regress or, or tick any other, either of them off. They seem very happy next to each other. They're an amazing couple together, I guess. I don't know, but they're cool. They're cool with each other. They're good friends. They hang out in this rock together. Uh, the next thing is my elegance. Now, this used to be a lot bigger and fluffier than it is now. My clowns uh, went through a phase of picking on this and uh, kind of like they wanted wanted the elegance to host them, but uh, they don't really mess with it too much anymore. Um, as I say this, they're probably going to jump into it. But anyways, but it seems like it's coming back pretty strong, so I'm looking forward to that coming back nice and healthy. Uh, and then This is the worst. This is what I don't even want to share with you guys. You see this thing back here? It looks bleached out. That is a Lepto SPS. It's the Jack o Lantern Lepto behind the torch there. And uh, let me get a nice close up of it. And it is still alive. And what's up, little dude? My yellow watchman go be still doing well. Here he is. Um, anyways, this Lepto is doing really, it was doing really good. And then um, a tragedy happened. It seems like my, my Blastos up here, uh, when it was. It just kind of fell down and it attached itself to this lepto and I uh, almost killed it. So I put it over here by itself in the bottom in the middle of the tank and hopefully it will um, it will come back strong. So it does still have some color in it as you can see. If I get real close, you can see that a little bit of orange there on the top right. So it's there, still alive, still got some green heads. So hopefully it comes back nice and strong. We'll, I'll monitor that. Hopefully it comes back like I said. And then my Blastos, uh, this is something new I've gotten. So they're doing pretty good. I'm enjoying these. These are really pretty to me. They're very vibrant during the with the blue accent of the light. So I think it was a great addition. And uh, my A-cans are doing great as always. As long as I keep feeding them the refroids, they're just loving life. So enjoying those guys. Uh, my, in the back, the Gorgonian. Um, I know I talked about how this was dying in previous videos, um, but it seems like the progression has kind of stopped. Uh, it looks like it's doing better. It's not really growing too much, and it's not dying. So I'll take that shift. It's a better shift than it actually perishing, like uh, you can see part of it has already. So hopefully that'll, that'll come back. I've been feeding Fido to it, so hopefully that helps out everything. And uh, let's move on to the Zoa Garden. Now, I'm having some issues with my Zoas as well. Uh, the pink Zoas are doing quite well. As you see, they're completely fully extended. Like, they're upside down. They're like little mushrooms. Um, I guess that's why they call them. Well, they're not mushrooms. They are Zoas. Okay, anyways. Um, and my Bam Bams are doing pretty good, too. They're half out right now. But they're usually pretty, pretty full and out. So that's cool. Uh, but my other Zoas don't really like to come out as much as I, I would like them to. The the radioactive ones, uh, that's probably as much as I see them come out. So I'm not quite sure what's happened here. I haven't changed anything at all in my tank. So it's no, I don't know. It, it just it baffles me. So I'm just going to let it go and see what where they uh, where they take me. And then and they don't look like they're melting. So I'm not quite sure. So. I do run carbon, so if there's any warfare going on, uh, the carbon should take care of that. So, ah, we'll see. We'll see what this turns into. Uh, the frog spawn's doing really, really well. It's always out and happy and fluffy looking. Uh, this is the GSP I will probably be using in my 29-gallon tank. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do in that tank, so stay tuned for that. If you have not seen the first video of my 29-gallon setup, uh, just click above and... Uh, check it out so 
That's pretty much all I got with the livestock. I got some Zoas in the back here too. I kind of shunned them off to the back, but they're doing really well back there anyway. So that's pretty much all the livestock I have going on in my tank. So thanks for checking out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see more in the future, feel free to subscribe. All right, guys, so I'm Just Moses. Feel free to click on my stupid face. Give me that subscribe. And if you want to see what I'm doing when I'm not on YouTube, feel free to check out my Instagram. So I'm always posting on there. And if you want to see any other videos, if this is your first video you've seen of mine, feel free to click on any of these two that you see on the end screen. So take care, guys, and we've